What's up YouTube? Welcome back. I'm DeBonk and this is my single player Let's Play work here on the Bedrock Edition. It's been a rough couple weeks uh, since my last episode came out for me personally and I'll tell you a little bit about that here in a minute. But uh, this week, uh, it really just a lot of odd jobs and little bits of doing this and that around the base and around the world. And I'll show you what I've been up to and uh, it's probably going to be a super short episode today. Uh, but I'm starting here in my amethyst geode, just doing a little farming, see what we can get from this. And then uh, and then we'll get on with it. So let me finish finish up here, and then I will be right back. Alright, so now that I'm back from my amethyst geode, just kind of show you guys around some of the things I've been working on uh, over this last week, and then I'll tell you what, uh, what's what been going on. So actually, I'll tell you what's going on first, is that uh, last, I want to know, Thursday, I guess, our air conditioner at my house stopped working. And so it has been so hot in the house that I just haven't been able to really do anything. And... Uh, on top of that, I ended up getting a cold. It wasn't COVID, uh, but I was still sick, and uh, so because of that, really just wasn't um, wasn't playing Minecraft, wasn't uh, doing anything that that much of you know what I would normally be doing. So, uh, in the world here uh, through the week, I've just kind of putzed around. You'll see here as I'm talking some of the things that I've added and done. Um, so we'll talk about them. So I, I added. Um, a little bit of a front porch here to the house. Just a little brick porch. I think it looks pretty cool. Nothing special. Um, brought the path over and uh, bone mailed the path. Again, nothing special. I did get rid of, you may remember, all along here from the dock all the way to here. I had sugar cane, so I've gotten rid of that. I haven't replanted it anywhere, so I'll have to build a farm for that soon. Uh, I think I started, I don't remember if I built this lapse episode or not. I think I talked about how it would look cool here, um, but I don't think I built it. So I built one of Scar's swagons, and uh, Scar is awesome. He's the ultimate builder, if you don't watch him. I will, uh, I guess since this is his design and, and I kind of have to credit him, I'll uh, leave a link for something of his down below. Um, but all these uh, copper ore blocks up top will eventually um, oxidize and turn blue. This one's starting already. And that's what I want. I want them to be blue. I found a donkey. Put him on the front. So it looks like he's pulling the cart. Now to make this fit in here properly, I had to lower the floor down uh, by quite a bit here. So I lowered the floor down by creating this little like carport here. And then once I did that, and it was clear that I was I was going to have you know the wall I had gone across here, it left me with like three blocks. And so it didn't make sense to have the house come out and have like a little hallway. Like to have the entrance here and then a hallway and then another entrance to the carport here. So I just opened this up completely and I like the way this looks. And let me go to and inside and sleep and we'll continue the tour. Alright, daytime. Uh, back out over here. So I'll put in some carpets here and you'll see under the carpets I have some sea lanterns. You know, just trying to hide, uh, minimize the torches and, and use lanterns and uh, hidden lighting where I can. You see underneath of the cart, I think I have some lighting hidden under there. Just trying to, you know, minimize the torches. So again, I put a little brick, brick patio on here. Uh, same thing here, I had dropped this down a whole layer because it was a whole block higher, which just didn't make sense with the floor of the house being on that level there. Uh, so I put in a little bench, stairwell. Uh, again, brought the path up um, because I, you know, I dropped this whole thing down from where it was. So I've, I've corrected the path. I split it up there. I split it off this way just so I couldn't go ahead and go around the house. Um, planted a couple of trees. So you'll see a tree here. Here's the other tree. And then it just bone me all over the place. So down here, I've been talking about decorating this area for several episodes now. So I think I've finally gotten this down. I put a little couple little beach towels. Oops. Uh, beach towels here. I put in a table, a couple little um, look like bars. Um, another little beach towel here. Put in a fireplace, a couple chairs. I like this. I think this is um, much, much improved over what was here before. So I really like that. Um, oh, hello. 
try to kill myself there, I guess. Um, okay, I learned something new today. If you put yourself on... How do I... Um, if you have a candle... Uh, wait a minute. What is that all about? So if you have a candle and you put yourself on fire and walk over the candle, it lights the fire? Yeah, there it is. That's hilarious. I didn't know that. So you can light candles by setting yourself on fire and then walking over the candle. Nice. And the flame stays there even after the candle's gone. Okay. I bet there's some mechanics you could use on like some mini games for that. Like light the candle to open the piston door, but the only way to light the candle is to set yourself on fire or and then remove the fire and put it back on. I don't know, something there. I did do some trading in here with these guys, but otherwise nothing new in here. I don't know if I ever showed my villager curing station here, so I'll show this here. Actually, I'll go ahead and do it. Ready? So when I flip this up, there's a zombie down there in a minecart, and when I put it up, he can reach this villager. And so he'll turn into a zombie villager. And these guys, because of these fence gates, can't get to him. And when I put it back inside this here is arrows of weakness. So when I flip this down, boom, he gets hit with an arrow of weakness. And then all I have to do to cure him is feed my dummy an apple. Yep, his name is Dummy. Stupid golems. And then he has started the curing process. And so once once he stop trying to eat the apple. So once he cures up, I'll get a discount. So I'll just grab, let's see this guy here. You can see he's already given me a discount, but each time I cure him again, he'll give me a little bit of a better discount. And uh, so I haven't done it. Uh oh. I need some wax. Um, I haven't done it enough to be able to get them trades down to like zero yet, um, but they're getting there. Like here I've got, what book is this? Fortune 3 for two emeralds, which is pretty amazing. Uh, is it this guy? Yeah, so four emeralds for a bookshelf, which I can turn into three books. So pretty soon he'll be down to getting me in a, uh, a loop here, which will be pretty awesome. So I've done that. I'll wait for him to heal up, and I'll check back on this guy, because that might be infinite emeralds. Uh, let's see. What else have I done here? Oh, yeah. Inside the house. Duh. Because there was a reason why I built this, right? Oops. I keep forgetting that I put the pressure plate there to close it. So I now have storage. So this side over here, so this is the front door to the little porch. And you come in on the left is my storage. And I've got everything. There's 11, it's 11 wide by 5 high. So 55 chests. And believe it or not, I have some things where already I just don't have enough storage. Like amethyst. You guys saw me at the beginning cleaning out my shards. You know, I've got so many more shards than I do these amethyst blocks. So much so that actually this last time I took a bunch of my amethyst shards and converted them into blocks. It'd be nice to have some more. Now this over here, now this is the door to the carport. And uh, there's nothing special here now. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. So, um, yeah. So I'm not sure there yet. This is the old house. Um, I'm going to keep this. is going to be a little a brewing area. Uh, probably maybe three here. Like this whole thing's just going to be brewing. I've got my uh, furnace there and I might make a little workstation here. Bed's there for now, but I'm going to move it upstairs. Upstairs is here. Now, I've never done anything up here yet, so this is kind of the first level. You can see out this little cool window here. I still have that stupid blocks I need to fix. Alright, I'm going to go do that in a second. And then I have another layer up here. So I have plenty of space up here still to build. Um... I'm going to put the bedroom, I think, probably up in that area. So I might even put another wall. I might have, like, come up the stairwell to a hallway, bedroom, and then maybe have another stairwell come up here. Um, let's see, what else have I done? Oh, I did a little bit of work on my on the Guardian farm over here. Nothing special, but I will show you really quickly. Ah! Yeah, of course. That's okay, I can show you from down here some of it. 
So all of these spots where these half slabs are were torches. And so I've removed all of the torches in preparation for... Hmm. Yeah, next, ep next episode is this. This is happening. I've got an awesome plan for something here, and it's going to look so cool. So let's come on back over here, sleep the night, and we'll go check on that villager. All right, so he has healed. Let's see what we got over here now. So now it's three, three emeralds per book. But you know what I can do? But see, even at, at this, I'm not going to make anything on this trade. But I can start to level this guy up and get access to whatever that next trade is, which will be helpful. Oh, I can't even do it yet. There we go. What do we got here? Smite one. Yeah, no thanks. One emerald for efficiency five. Did he just char... Yeah, he did. Look at that. One emerald for fortune three. Three emeralds for protection. One emerald for mending. Look at that. So I understand that the more often I, re I cure and convert this guy, the better deals I get. But I don't understand, like, why did his bookshelf... All right, am I... Am I crazy here? It was... Wasn't it five? Like, two seconds ago? Well, I'm not going to sit here and keep doing this on camera, but you guys get the point. Ooh, Riptide. And now we have access to name tags. So now we have a stack of emeralds. I'll keep working on this. I'll uh, get my emerald supply up. So next episode, I'm going to be working on the Guardian Farm and building something really cool over there. Um, and I may go ahead and... Uh, I think it might be we'll go ahead and do the... Um... Ooh, I thought I hit him. I would have been dead. I might go ahead and fix the Trident Killer and then work on that farm over there and make it look awesome. Uh, in the next episode, so um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like down below. It truly helps me out, helps out the channel and the algorithms, and helps YouTube show my content to more people that might like it. Um, so please do that, and again, uh, thank you all for watching, and bye for now.